Hey everyone, it's Dan here, the founder of DataIndia.com, ex Google and PayPal data scientist. Now, in this video, I wanna talk about how do you respond to behavior interview questions effectively. You wanna think about why do interviewers, technical recruiters, and hiring managers ask behavior interview questions. Basically, they're looking for culture fit. What does it mean? Well, culture fit essentially means that you're demonstrating these six qualities. You're demonstrating that you thrive in ambiguity, you value feedback, challenges status quo, puts the user first, does the right thing, and cares about the team. So in the behavior interview questions, if you're able to demonstrate these six qualities, then you've essentially demonstrated culture fit. Now let me talk about an effective way to respond to a behavior interview question. When it comes to answering behavior interview questions, if you've done some search online, there are a number of frameworks that are recommended. There's a STAR method, the CAR method, and Diggs method. Now before I take a deep dive of one of the frameworks, it really doesn't matter what framework you're using. The bottom line is that you're telling a story that is compelling and resonates with the interviewer. So focus on telling a story and focus on connecting with the person that you're speaking to. That's the essence of how do you respond to behavior interview questions effectively. Now, of course, we want to think about sometimes a structured way to provide a response. And so one method that I recommend is the STAR method. The STAR method stands for situation, task, action, and result. Situation stands for describing the context of the problem. Task is elaboration on that problem. Action is a step that you took to solve that problem. And then result is describing the business impact that came from your solution. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize this framework to respond to one of the behavioral interview questions that things have asked before. Now, real quick, before I proceed to the next point, do you have an interview coming out and you're not really sure how you're gonna prepare effectively? Well, make sure you check out datainterview.com where there's courses and coaching services that can help you upgrade your interviewing skills for data science and BI engineering and machine learning engineer interviews. So make sure you check out datainterview.com. All right, so here's the best part of the video. I'll take the STAR method and use it in an example behavior interview question. And this is based on Amazon's leadership principle, which assesses customer obsession. So here's the question. Tell me about a time when you had to deal with a very upset customer. So here's the situation. The situation is that back when I was a data scientist, I worked with a large bank that wanted to detect credit card fraud. The current problem that the client faced was that they were losing tens of millions of dollars on a quarterly basis. And they had a transaction model. Basically, they use transaction data and make a prediction in terms of whether the credit card holder is a fraudster or not. And here's the task that was assigned to me. Basically, can I provide a fraud solution that can help improve the way they detect fraudsters? So what I proposed was that we should have an application stage model. Basically, at the time when a prospective customer applies for a credit card application, make the determination in terms of whether they're a fraudster or not. This can work in conjunction with the transaction data. However, the clients were resistant at first. They strongly felt that we should be using transaction data because you need a lot of signals, their transaction activities before you make that determination. So here are the series of action I took in order to mitigate the difference in terms of how the problem should be solved. Basically, I show the pros and cons. I started by acknowledging that although it is very important to use transaction activity as a way to make that determination, the product that we currently had could not readily support that. In order to provide that, we would have to retrofit the product greatly, which would cost a lot of engineering time and effort to accommodate for that. And the second part is that they did not have an application stage model. And that should be the first line of defense before a person should be allowed to have a credit card. And once I've basically explained to them what the pros and cons were, I've illustrated by quickly building a prototype and showing them an example of prediction, which they took and sent it to the review team and showed to have high accuracy. And because of the series of action I took, basically the pros and cons and the illustration, it persuaded the client that we should take this model and productionize it, which is now the result part, which is that after I built this prototype, it enabled the next data scientist who entered this project and basically I transferred it over to him to take this model and productionize it, which is currently used by the client today. All right, so before I let you guys go, there are three pro tips I like to share that can be helpful for your upcoming interview. The first pro tip is that 
you want to have stories prepared. This is really helpful because behavioral interview questions are impromptu. So you need to be able to come up with a specific example off the cuff. And it's helpful if you take some time to basically flesh out a couple situations in your career that can demonstrate some aspects of conflict, dealing with people, and how did you go about resolving it. And if you have these stories in your bank, and when it comes time to actually answering these questions, you'll be able to come up with the specific examples very quickly. The second tip I'd like to share is that you want to make your story conversational. Don't make it a monologue. Remember, when it comes to behavioral interview, this is really about can you connect with another person, in this case, the interviewer. And if you approach it like this is some sort of like a technical solution, then you're going to come across a little bit too stifled. And so convey a story, convey a little bit of personality with the interviewer. The third aspect I wanna share is that be mindful of what the interviewers are looking for. They're looking for someone who's got the capacity, basically the mental and the physical requirement to do the job. And they're also looking for someone who's got the right attitude. Do you have people skills and are you dependable? And do you have the right personality? Do you have the right temperament and the assertiveness? And lastly, they're looking for someone who's got the right skills, meaning skills required to perform the job well. So if you can demonstrate these four qualities during your behavior interview, then you've essentially demonstrated culture fit. All right, so I hope you find this video helpful for your upcoming interview. And make sure you check out datingme.com for courses and coaching that can be helpful for your upcoming interview. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.